my friends, it's Sasha. Welcome back to my channel. If you only knew the amount of vlogs that I have filmed, attempted to film, started and not finished, started and finished, but never edited, edited and then not liked it. <laughs> there have been so many attempts to get back on YouTube this year. And I want, I want this to be the successful one. I really want this to be the successful one. I want to vlog this weekend because I'm at Lowe's right now. I'm going to grab some flowers and stuff and just really start making my deck very cute and summery with a bunch of flowers. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do in terms of like vegetable gardening this year, but I definitely want just to look out onto my deck and see beautiful flowers. So I definitely want to get some stuff that I can put into cute pots. I want to get stuff that I can plant in the ground. And yeah, next weekend I'm actually going to New Hampshire for Memorial Day weekend. So I really want to vlog that as well. I think that'll be fun. Maybe do like a little week in my life because we are going with family. So I don't know how much I'll actually vlog vlog, like talking to the camera, but I'll definitely get a bunch of like footage and stuff. And I don't know, we'll kind of see how it goes. So I feel like maybe a week in my life would be a good thing to do for that vlog. That that way there's just a nice variety but I'm at Lowe's right now if um, you didn't know the reason why I've been so absent from YouTube is because I got a full-time job I am now a nine-to-five girly I have a full-time marketing position with a company called Medusa distribution it is um, so Medusa distribution owns a company that I've worked with through my silent Stippy page since literally 2017 which is crazy I am a digital marketing manager I'm basically their social media manager and then I run all of the influencer relations yeah there's just a lot of of things that kind of come with those two little hats that I have I of course like I was very very lucky for many years to just be completely on my own schedule be able to do whatever I wanted whenever I wanted like if I wanted to go to Lowe's in the middle of the week at like 1 p.m. when it was dead I could totally do that whereas now I'm going at 6 p.m. on a Friday but there's lots of good that comes from the set schedule I now have a salary which is nice just having a set income I have a job that I can fully rely on when I do want to start a family and as many of you know like a lot of my income comes from my silence to be sponsorships and that's all like weedy content and I just know that when I'm, I'm pregnant one day I won't be smoking and then if I'm you know able to breastfeed I wouldn't be smoking during that so I just made some moves to make sure that I am very secure in my future and just not worried about that sort of thing and I still like I'm still creating I still if you follow my other pages like I um, post to both of my Instagrams the Sasha Hippie and the silence to be pretty regular I still stream three to four times a week and I'm still doing things it's really just YouTube that's really fallen behind it's it's just hard to for one like just have the time to film just random things I feel like I'm always just kind of working and then the evenings is catching up on all other life things and then also of course finding the time to edit which takes up a lot of time but oh my god I'm sweating right now I am gonna go into Lowe's and grab some stuff and then we'll go home and I don't know if I'll plant anything tonight but we'll see I have friends coming over tomorrow which will be fun I think we're gonna listen to a bunch of vinyls we might make some s'mores it's not supposed to be super nice out tomorrow it's supposed to be like gloomy and windy with a high of 60 so I'm not exactly sure what the plan is but we'll definitely hang and it'll be a great time and yeah happy to be vlogging fingers crossed that you're actually seeing this on YouTube this this is gonna be the one this is gonna be the one I can't decide if I want to grab some peppers maybe Maybe I grab a couple. Oh, I definitely, is a citronella? Yes, it is. Must be good for the bugs. I don't know how much they are. 15. I mean, this would be easy. It's already in a pot. And it looks pretty healthy. Got some marigolds. I think I need to call it and come back another day for more. There's so much going on. All right, I just checked out. Spent, was it 140 on all this? My local plant nursery closes at six, so it's really hard for me to get there. So I figured I'd start at Lowe's and then hopefully go to a local place to fill out any spaces that I need to. I'm really excited about this hanging plant. I think it's really pretty. I would say that was a success. I'm very excited to plant stuff. Also, I need to clean up my car really bad. Ah, oh, it sounds like I just jumped down as soon as I grabbed my camera. Hi, Aria. Oh. 
Hi. All right, it is getting so chilly. I think tomorrow, I already said that I think tomorrow's only supposed to be like 60. Not bad, but a little on the chillier side. But I've got everything over here. Some stuff I'm gonna plant in the ground. Other stuff is gonna go in pots. I gotta figure out what I wanna put in this big pot. I'm thinking maybe the daisy plants. I'm not sure. That might be better in the ground, I don't know. But some stuff might go in front. Some of it's gonna go back by the shed over there. We'll see, we shall see. And then this thing, I need some string so I can tie it, because it's tied at the bottom, but it keeps keeps falling forward. So I gotta figure that out. I really like these. These just give me like hot summer day vibes. I'm excited to plant those. I think I'm gonna plant them in like this corner perhaps. We shall see. I'm so happy that I got dahlias. I love dahlias. I have two yellow ones and I think I'm gonna put them in these pots that are down here. I thought the yellow would look really cute with that pink color. I'm gonna have to figure out where I'm gonna put the, put the pink one. I'm pretty sure I have a bunch of pots in the shed as well. So I wanna see what I've got going on over there. But yeah, things are finally happening. Oh, it's 60 degrees right. So this is as warm as it's gonna get tomorrow. So tomorrow will definitely be quite colder than it was today because today was like 72 I think. Good morning. It's been a very slow morning. It's actually probably afternoon now. Yeah it is a little afternoon. I procrastinated breakfast so long that I just skipped to lunch and <laughs> I'm having leftover pizza. And it's an Alani. It's very gloomy out. It's very windy and chilly and I need to clean. We'll see if I end up doing yard stuff today. That might get pushed to another day. I'm not sure if I've shown this in a vlog before, but I always do this with my leftover pizza. I put balsamic glaze on it. I've probably shown this before, right? I don't know. When I was regularly vlogging, feels like a lifetime ago. <laughs> and then I put Frank's. Oh, the condensation just almost made me drop that. A little bit of Frank's. There's already a bite. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else does this, but sometimes when I'm heating up food, Especially happens a lot with pizza before I like put it into the toaster oven. I take a bite because I'm like too impatient. Like I'm hungry now. I need one bite to hold me over. Mmm. Delicious. I'm gonna read while I eat. I did not vlog any of my cleaning, but Brendan was like watching games with his friends in the other room. They always watch just like soccer games on their Discord. And I don't know. I also feel like I <laughs> don't clean as quickly when I'm trying to film stuff. But not too bad, not too bad. As you all know, I always have just like a million things on my counters, but we're looking pretty good. Then I like, you know, scrub the toilet and the sink and all that good stuff. Hi. Organized chaos, you know? Look how cute these little girls are. Oh my gosh, also I got an, I got an electric lint remover and it saved this blanket. This blanket had tons of like the little pills on it or whatever. Actually, you'd still be able to see it on the other side, like all of this. And then what you do is you turn this on. It's kind of hard to do with one hand, but you can see what it's doing, you know? I only did the, the part that's showing so far. It does such a good job. It, it takes a little bit, but it was kind of fun to just like zone out and do this one night. Not perfect. I would need to spend a little more time with it, but and then the cats have been putting little poles in here because they love sitting right here in the evening when the sunset <laughs> is shining through. But I'm going to use it on this... Uh, hoodie right now. I'm curious because this hoodie isn't bad, but you can see there's like, I don't know. It's not as smooth as it used to be. So I'm curious how much it helps. Look at all the yellow fuzz in there. It honestly just makes the hoodie a lot softer too. Like even if you don't really visually see it, like it's definitely doing something. Sansa's definitely gonna hide when my friends get here, but usually she comes out eventually once she kind of realizes that like I'm okay with them here. <laughs> Arya will probably be pretty social. I don't know, it's funny. I feel like Arya's social at first and then she disappears for a while. Whereas like Sansa is not social and hides and then she comes out and wants all the attention. Colorful and healthy and delicious, wow. right? Um, my dirty stove. Let's put it on top of the dirty burner. Look how much dirtier that one is. I need to use, have you ever used the pink stuff? 
yeah. I've seen I it. Jar mitt, like the top. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it works so good. Just put it right on. And yeah, and you scrub it off. It, yeah, and it comes right off. I was gonna vlog and do some planting. <laughs> My neighbors are outside. My little shadow. I just turned the lights on because it's getting dark. It's a little less noisy now, but for an Instagram reel for my Sounds to be page, I just repotted these two dahlias. Super cute. I was gonna use um, these two pots, but they were just a little bit too small. I can show you the comparison. Like not a huge difference, but enough where like it definitely mattered, especially considering this one was really, really narrow. It was um, gonna be hard to get the soil on the side of it. So maybe we'll put some marigolds in here. I think the yellow ones would look really pretty. So maybe I do the yellow ones potted and the orange ones in the ground somewhere. I also def ooh, these need to be watered, but I definitely need to get these into some sort of pots um, either today or tomorrow. It's already like 8 p.m. though. I don't know where the days go <laughs> after work. Like I just blink and then it's time to go to bed. I'm gonna plug this for now, just make it easier for filling. I also learned my mistake the first time. Well, it didn't really matter because I swept, but I got soil all over my rug. All right, do I want to do the orange or the yellow? What's that? Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh. They're going to put it onto the patio. Onto the patio. Yeah. My mom's very excited. She's been taking pictures every day, yeah, posting them on Facebook. He did put his hands in there. Oh, he did. Yeah. Oh, I need to go find it. Yeah, yeah. She put. She had her hand. He had the oh. hands down in there. Oh my God, I got it. Wait, I want to go look at that. Um, my other phone died, so I grabbed my work one, which is my old 12. So if the quality's less, that's why. Look what Brandon got me. Yeah, I think I like the orange a lot. It's a struggle though. How freaking cute are these? I'm so glad I did the orange. Especially because I did the yellow in those. I don't know, I guess I gotta put the yellow on something, but I feel like the orange is just a vibe. Like the yellow, there's a nice contrast, but there's something just like kind of aesthetic about this. Oh, you can see sounds in the window still. If anyone's new here, my cat Sansa hates when I go outside. She absolutely hates it. She wants to be out here too. And I used to bring her out here on a leash, but then there was just like one incident where like she saw my parents' dog, because my parents live in like the house behind me. Um, she saw him like him from afar and he literally just went like, or like sneezed or something. And she started freaking out, like basically convulsing. And I had to just like bear hug her and run inside. And she was like tearing up my shoulder and stuff. and. It was like, not to be dramatic, but like mildly traumatizing because I live on kind of a busy street. I'm sure you can sometimes hear cars and just like the thought of her slipping out of the harness, even though the harness was on her good, like I, everything was fine, but like just the thought like, oh, makes me nauseous um, of her just like getting out and running away or getting hit by a car. Like, so we're just avoiding the, like any chance of that ever happening. <laughs> so unfortunately she does not go outside anymore. I would love to get them a catio built. I don't know if I really have space for it here. And even like, I feel like the outdoor noises might freak them out. I don't know. But um, maybe one day when I buy a house, that could be something fun to do is make a catio for my cats. I would absolutely love that. I have thought about, cause there's like a back, the window that I always show Sansa in. I feel like it would be so cool if I could make, you know, like the window unit AC, like the window AC units. I have one inside my house and they like stick out like a, box a cube or I guess rectangular cube whatever they like stick out of the window I, I just feel like it'd be so cool if I could have something that was the shape of that but was just like you know the bottom was flat and like solid but then all the rest of it was like wooden frame with like chicken wire or whatever it's called um so they could just like sit in it and be like slightly outside and have like a breeze I don't know um I would love to have something like that made I just don't know how I would ever go about that so <laughs> right now I can just see her ears oh my god okay I don't know if it's gonna do you see them that's so funny oh my god oh Sansa <laughs> but anyways that might be 
enough gardening for me tonight. We repotted these for an Instagram reel. And then we just did these with you. I actually, I love this color combo. I'm so glad I went with the orange. These are gonna, I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put all of these. I have like this little rack over here. And I have a bunch of stuff on. I have some lavender I wanna plant. I have citronella to try and keep just like bugs away and stuff. Oh, we might be getting a visitor. Oh, he spotted me. Right, let's go. Go with your dad. <laughs> let's go see Grammy. <laughs> I do, I have one. Ooh, maybe I do this actually before we go. Not that I'm ending this vlog. I'll probably pick it back up tomorrow. By the way, it's Tuesday. I think I started filming this on Friday when I went to Lowe's. And then I just didn't really do much this weekend. Like I had friends over, but we were kind of like seshing and stuff a lot throughout the night. So I just like didn't want to show all that on this channel. I got like, I think one singular clip of the stir fry when it was done. But I have this kind of big pot and then I have these daisies, I think they are. I think I'm gonna do that right now, actually. Wish, I I just, I'm a different person in the morning. I cannot get myself up for the life of me. No matter what, even if I've gotten enough sleep, even if I tell myself like, oh, I'm gonna go outside and garden, like it's gonna be so nice. Just me when I wake up is a different human being. I don't wanna get out of bed, no matter what. It's so bad. Me saying that is because I would love to get up at like seven and come outside and garden until like eight and then make breakfast and get on work at nine that'd be so nice why don't i do that for myself i don't know why don't i do that for myself i don't know who she is i like even i've tried putting my alarm on the other side of the room what will happen when i do that like putting your phone on the other side of the room is i'll wake up like early early morning like before my alarm's gonna go off at like five or six and i'll remember that my phone is on the other side of the room so then i'll go and get it and bring it close to me because so i'm like <laughs> I'm not dealing with having to get up when my alarm goes off. Uh, like, morning me is evil. Morning me is literally evil. Once noon hits, best version of myself. From noon to like 10 p.m., I thrive. I thrive. But me before noon, I... I don't know what's wrong with me. God, this front camera is so bad compared to mine. I'm gonna see if my phone's charged up enough yet to switch back. No, they're both there. <laughs> All right, we got the 15 Pro back. Look how fucking cute my deck is. Lights are so cute. All my plants. Oh, this little daisy is about to be so freaking cute in this pink pot. Is it a daisy? I should double check. It's a daisy. Amazing daisies, Daisy May. That first clip where I switched back to the 15, I was filming with like the back camera, like the three lenses or whatever. Well, it's only using one lens at a time, but you know, where the three lenses are. Whereas this is the selfie cam. And I feel like the selfie cam specifically is so, so much better on this phone. But let's, oh, it was 80 today, I think, or maybe close to 80. Then the next two days are supposed to be like 85. That's the warmest it's gotten so far this year. I think today is May 21st. I started filming this May 17th. I'll probably have the dates on the screen when like each new day starts, so you'll know. I go on a tiny bit more. That reminds me, I have a Spotify playlist called Songs I Can Hear Other People Blast While Driving By My House, <laughs> and it's a really fun playlist. It's just like hits from a bunch of different varieties, because I'll sometimes recognize songs or sometimes I can shazam them. Sorry, I just drank Sprite when I went inside to get this phone, so now I'm burping. But um, sometimes I'll shazam them and add them, and it's just, it's a really fun playlist. So I'll, I'll definitely have to link it down below. I've been adding to it for four years now. I'm actually curious now, I'll have to look. My parents just got like a new cement patio poured next door, and they put my nephew's little handprint in it, and it's like that big, it's so cute. Oh my god, and it's like perfect too. I'm impressed, he must have cooperated very well. But my mom said they literally like, he was napping and they woke him up because there's just like a very specific window where like you have to do it or it's gonna harden too much. So um, yeah, they, <laughs> they woke him up. Ooh, I feel like that's perfect height. Okay, oh, I hear a helicopter. It's like circling, it's coming back again. Say hi. 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 It's so cute. 
cute. I can't wait until more open. It's honestly crazy. Like, my deck is like an extra room with how bright it is. Like, it's pretty much completely dark out. There's like the teeniest glow on the horizon, but like it's nighttime. What time is it? It's 9.06. Oh my god, it's already after 9. Ugh, I need to shower and then maybe I'll read my book. I have read, since April 29th, five books. <laughs> I'll link my Goodreads down below if anyone wants to follow it. But I gotta figure out where I wanna put all of these now. And then I gotta plant these in the ground tomorrow. And then I gotta figure out what I'm doing with the dahlia, the peppers, and then the rest of the marigolds as well. Aw, it looks cute. Wait, this view right here with the cute pots and the flowers, like, oh, this is bringing me so much joy. Oh my God, I need to plant more. Tomorrow, maybe I'll plant some seeds. I do still need to, here, I'll show you. Like, we just have random overgrown like wildflowers over here. There was a bloomed one. Maybe it already fell off, but it was like a purplish blue flower. But then like a stalk from one of last year's sunflowers is just there. These last two mushrooms got disconnected. I think my dad hit it with the weed whacker or something. So, and then the other ones, I don't know what happened to those ones, but those ones aren't working either. Over here is where I have like the other little sunflower patch usually and there's so much grass overgrown, old plants that I threw there from last year, old plants that I still haven't pulled out. And then this, I forget what it's called. I swear it's like a mugwort plant or something like that, but it's about to bloom, but it's, I honestly don't love it. Like I kind of want to get rid of it, at least some of it. Like it needs to be cut back so, so bad. It's taking up like a third of this area. And then there's that like, I think it's a type of bamboo that grows. I need to get rid of a bunch of that. But there are lilies coming up. I can see the buds forming on that one right there. So that's cool. Oh, there's another lily in there. Ooh, there's like a worm on it. Moon. <gasps> Whoa. This camera's going insane. Here's what my deck looks like walking up to it. Cute little one blooms daisy and everything's kind of, I, I ended up tucking my grill into that corner just because I wanted to have more flowers on display. And I just figure when I use it, I'll like roll it out and it'll be fine. And it's a little messy over here, but look at the, oh my God. It's the best time of the year. We're in the better half of the year, finally. I'm so happy. <laughs> All right, I'm going inside. Not sure if I'll vlog again tonight, but We'll definitely pick up the camera tomorrow if I do some more yard work. Hi again, it's the same night. I don't know if I sh have shown these. I may have shown them in Vlogmas, but I may have honestly gotten them after. But I got these tanning drops, Tan Lux, the face, and you just, you add them in with your moisturizer and like mix it all together and put it on your face. And I like it, I just, I have to be very, very careful. I feel like one and a half, maybe two drops is like good for me. Otherwise it just starts to look a little like unnatural. And then I have to make sure I like, really like get it into my hairline because I've had times where there's like a solid line and then you can see just like white from where the tanner didn't go. And then I also have to make sure I wash my hands after or I get like orangey splotches in between my fingers. It's been very great for the winter. I feel like I just, I feel more alive when my face looks tan. <laughs> but I'm gonna go get in some comfy jammies and then I'm gonna have, I got Ben and Jerry's. Um, oh, I keep looking over here instead of over here. I always do that. Mil mint chocolate chance, I think it is. It's like a mint ice cream, like a minty vanilla with brownie chunks in it. I think I like, they have like a mint cookies and cream. I forget exactly what it's called, but I think I like that more than the mint chocolate chance. So I'll probably get that next time. I just wanted to switch it up, you know? I gotta pause this while we vlog, but I'm making a hella fresh meal. We've made this one before, it's really good. 
But I've got the chicken is cooking. And then I think the potatoes are just about ready to be flipped. And I just put the green beans in. And then it was like over 85 today, I think. So after dinner, I'll probably go hang out on the deck. And then I'm actually going to Disney World next week for a bachelorette trip. So I think tomorrow I'm gonna go to the store and try to find just like a couple more outfit options. One of the days we're doing like something blue where everyone's gonna wear just like a shade of blue and the bride will wear white. So I have like some options, but I wanna go to Old Navy and then Target and just see what I can find. I feel like I've been looking out at Old Navy the past couple of years. So that might be a good move. I could also use another pair of shorts like denim shorts or something, but I'm starving. What time is it? 6.30. I have been absolutely loving 21 Pilots' new songs. There's one, the first one that came out, isn't it on this, oh here, no, that's Usher. <laughs> there it is. See how it's kind of similar to that, the colors? Um, so that was the first one that came out, but the second two that came out, Backslide is probably my favorite. This one's my second flavor, favorite, and then Overcompensate is third, but still love overcompensate and the album comes out on a friday so i'm very excited for that so i'm gonna turn you off so i can put music back on and flip the potatoes not much of a sunset tonight it's like barely even a gradient it's like so boring it's already after eight i'm debating if i <laughs> plant this stuff but i want to go shopping tomorrow so i i'm running out of time Going away this weekend and then having my trip next week is, <laughs> is kind of a lot. Ugh, I love dahlias. They're so freaking pretty. Look at that. It's so trippy looking. I love them. I just, I know I'm going to be saying this a lot. I've probably already said it multiple times in this video, but I just can't believe the weather. I can't believe that it finally feels like summer. I felt like it was never going to happen. I think we had like a pretty chilly spring to be honest like normally we'll have like a couple of random little heat waves in april but it was like <laughs> steady chilly until like a week ago all right we're closer to those loud freaking birds but here's my parents yard right now they're getting a little patio installed which is really cute and they're like extending their steps over here obviously the cement's in but they of course still have stuff to do it's gonna be so cute. They're gonna put a gazebo. My mom already got a little outdoor rug. It's gonna be a nice little place to hang. And oh my, that one bird every night is so loud, but they got like a propane little fire pit too. I love these people's house. Just like the green and the trees. It's always such a vibe. But look at what they did for my nephew. It's so little so sweet my parents cute little gazebo so this will move onto the patio once it's like completely done they're getting rid of this garden bin and my dad might move it into my yard so i can use it but i almost feel like it's getting a little too late especially because i wouldn't be able to plant anything until i got back from disney but i don't know it could still work <laughs> it looks like hay that's crazy it's so overgrown but i think they might plant something in this one we'll see I don't know. I'm very like unsure what I'm doing with my garden this year. As always, I've got an audience. All right, I feel like I need to do something out here or I'll be disappointed in myself. I'm gonna like move stuff around in that area and maybe plant that, plant with the white flowers. I'm so curious how loud that bird is showing up on, or coming up, not showing up, listening, hearing, sounding like <laughs> in this vlog. Also, y'all haven't, I mean, obviously if you follow like my live streams, my Instagram, but I'm curious how much my hair has grown since Vlogmas. Probably at least a couple inches, right? Oh, <laughs> that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. All right, they're a little droopy. I think they were thirsty, but they're in the ground now and I'm gonna water them. And I think it'll look cute in the daytime. They just need to perk up a little bit. <laughs> and then I'll have to put, maybe I'll plant something right here too. I should have gotten two. I 
could put these pink ones on the other side. That could be cute. I was gonna put them in the front, but I don't know. Honestly, our front, the dirt is just like so dry and I tried planting sunflowers out there once and it just didn't really work. Like maybe I'll put some marigolds up there, but I would look cute like on the other side. Just like I would have the white ones right here and the pink ones right there. Hi, it's the next day again, of course. I just had, my hair's like stuck in my hoodie. Okay, um, I just had an appointment with my accountant and I saw a cute little like roadside market on the way home. So I figured I would stop here. And I got a coffee for the first time in forever and I got it from Sip and Dip and this is the place I used to go to all the time when I bartended. So it's very nostalgic right now. This is so cute. What a success! I spent 20 bucks on some flowers. I got some zinnias. Let me show you actually. Which is so cool because they'll bloom so much faster since they're already grown a little bit. And it was like three bucks for this. And then I got a couple other plants, which I think I showed you. If not, I'll show you at home. And then I grabbed some groceries. I got, this isn't like traditional bakery pizza. I'll probably put this in the toaster oven, whereas like real bakery pizza, I tend to just have cold. I got that for lunch and then I got stuff to make like caprese sandwiches. I figure that'll be good for lunch, probably tomorrow. But now I need to go home and get to work. All right, what's the best way to get out of this parking lot? I'm gonna let that car go. Oh, I, could, I shoulda went. You know when, like, if you know, you know, and you're just like, oh, I shoulda went. The car is going so much slower than I thought it was. I see my opening. I see it. I'm like, I'll probably work from the car, but we're driving up to New Hampshire tomorrow. I don't know if I want to continue this vlog or if I want to start a new vlog for New Hampshire. I'm contemplating starting a new vlog, honestly. I, don't, I might be in a little vlogging mode because I kind of want to vlog some of Disney as well. I don't know how much just because I'm like, I pretty much only know the bride. It's my friend Allie that I've been friends with since like 2014. I don't really know any of her bridesmaids. I met them at the bridal shower and like we all got along super, super well. Like everyone was so kind and welcoming and chill. And I like, I know it's gonna be a great time, but just like putting your camera in people's faces and stuff can sometimes be uncomfortable. But I figure at the very least, I will get like a bunch of B-roll and that will be part of like a future vlog or something. I wanna get back into vlogging. It's been fun these past couple of days. Um, just like re remembering sometimes <laughs> to pick up the camera again. Actually, wait, I should be in the right lane. I haven't been to Disney since 2017, and it was like January 2017. So it's been a very, very long time. I mean, what, seven years, seven years? And a lot can change in seven years. There's like, I don't think the Avatar thing was open when I, is this? Okay, yeah, yeah, I was like, wait, am I going the right way? <laughs> um, I don't think the Avatar little area was open the last time that I went. I don't I think Toy Story Land was finished. Um, isn't there like a Star Wars area now too? I, f I feel like the Star Wars area, like there were a few rides, but it wasn't complete when I went. I don't know, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. And we have a few of the girls who are like really, really into Disney. They usually go a couple times a year. So it'll be really good to just be around people that know their ways around the park. Like we already have dinner reservations and stuff for all of the nights and I want to play darts sometime soon. I haven't played darts yet this year. When my friends came over last weekend, it was like cold that night. Like the high of the day, I think was 59 or something. So we didn't even hang outside at all. Every day I have to bring Sansa's 
little, uh, I need to get new scratchers on this, but I have to bring this thing in the kitchen or she'll just stand in front of my computer here and just demand attention. And then as soon as I bring this in here, she just, she wants to chill next to her mom. But I'm all set up. I actually work from the kitchen. It's a little messy right now, but I'll show you my setup. <laughs> I have air filter replacements, air purifier filter replacements in there, but um, yeah. So I usually just have this extension cord. Honestly, I need a longer one because this one is like just barely long enough and it gets kind of annoying like opening the fridge. Oh, I need to sweep in here. Look at all the little things on the ground. Oh, Aria heard me talking and was like, who's here? But anyways, I have a second monitor. Let me close my tabs so I can show you. So my work actually provided me with a second monitor, which is awesome. So I just like put it on the ground in my office when I'm not using it. And then I bring it out here during the day. I could work from my office, but I don't know if you can tell from here, there's only one north side facing window. So it's just kind of like dark and dungeony in there. And I don't know, I just, I've found that I prefer working from the kitchen. For a while, what I was doing was I was pulling the table out from the wall and then taking my computer chair, rolling it in here and then sitting like that. And I just, especially this table's like really old and this leg particularly is like, not doing well it's on its last leg if you will but i just yeah i didn't feel like moving the table and rolling my chair every day so so now for the past couple of weeks i've just been i've been rotating which side that i sit on it really depends sometimes i like the other side because i feel like i have more natural light on my face but then again the monitor kind of blocks it anyways i don't know i chose this side today but i need to write up some creative briefs for the creators that we're working with next month that's the biggest thing on my to-do list today. I need to finish that up. And then I have a meeting at three. No, I have a meeting at two and a meeting at three. Sansa, you're so beautiful. Did you know that? What did you hear? You're such a beautiful girl. Where's my other beautiful girl? Hi. There you go. Hi. When I had my friends over, Aria was obsessed with them she would not leave us alone she just wanted all the attention oh my gosh it was such a stormy stormy day the clouds are like kind of clearing up the sun's not shining but it's not like it was before oh i think my mom's going into the backyard with my nephew right now oh she's taking him on a walk okay i can see her she's like right behind my car over here putting him in the stroller but here are those things that i picked up earlier today very cute. I also, Brennan got me a bouquet of flowers, but it had a couple um, lilies in it. So I just put them in here because I thought it was cute. I don't like having lilies inside my house because of the cats, but yeah, I definitely got to plant these. I don't know if it's going to happen before our uh, trip to New Hampshire this weekend, but this could be a fun project for Monday. I think they'll be fine until then. Oh, how's my white flowers doing? <laughs> I feel like they need help. They're flopping over. It's cute though, in like a wildflower way. All right, I'm going to Old Navy. We made it. to Ulta but I didn't show any of it especially in the store there was two kids like running around the employee had to ask the parents to like get their kids away from the little salon area in Ulta because like the thing that melts the wax was on and there's like all their tools but anyways um, I'm gonna look for sneakers here I'm not sure if they carry hokas but figured since I'm in the plaza I would stop the sky is looking very pretty oh my gosh this is the best sunset I have seen in a while. It's so pretty. Oh my God. I'm grabbing five guys for dinner. We're leaving tomorrow. So I, I don't know, it didn't really make sense to grocery shop. Oh, we're only leaving for three days, but still I feel like it just easier to just grab takeout tonight, honestly. I ended up spending like $200 at Old Navy. I Some of the stuff was super, super discounted and a really good price. And then some of the stuff was really expensive and I didn't realize because there was a lot of like 50% off, 40% off and like two items that I thought were 40% off were full price and they were like 35 and $40. So that kind of bumped up my, my total a little bit. But I got a bunch of tank tops. They're actually the same style of the one that I'm wearing right now. Maybe a tiny bit different, but like pretty damn similar. And I got a bunch of different colors because I tried it on and it fit 
pretty much the same and I really really love the way that those shirts fit and I wore them like so so much last summer so I figured I would just grab pretty much all the I grabbed like five colors that they had I think and then their shorts were 50% off so I grabbed two pair of shorts two pairs of shorts I got like some linen pants those were those were 40 and I didn't know and then actually it was three things the pants were 40 and then two of the shirts were like 30 and 35 and I didn't know those weren't on sale so one of them I did try on and I love so I will be keeping it the other one I did not try on so I guess we'll see if I'll be returning that or not. I just keep taking videos and pictures of the sky. It's starting to fade though. But like, it's giving summer sunset. I love it so much. Hello. I'm trying to do my makeup, but it's coming out really bad today. I don't know. Oh, I know why. I used my old concealer that's too light. Whenever I use a concealer that's too light, it looks like ashy like it literally looks like there was ash on my fingers and i like accidentally touched underneath my eyes okay i'm just gonna layer it over this and it should be fine i was trying to do like light makeup so i just put a little bit like on my finger and was kind of like dabbing it but then it started looking weird and now i don't know and this one i don't know this one i almost feel like is too yellow and then i did i wasn't thinking i put i don't know i got one of these and I fucked it because I just did like one click up and then I went to close it and it got stuck in like the top of that. You can see product there and it's like all messed up now. And but anyways, I used this first when I shouldn't have, but it's just a little color correcting, you know, I'll put some more on after. All right. I feel like that looks better. Not perfect by any means. I don't know. I feel like I just suck at makeup. See, I saw so many videos of girls doing like a fun little swipe and a swipe and I just feel like the product's not doing that for me. Oh, fuck. That's way too much. Oh, dear. Oh, no. That's okay. That's okay. That's why I have this erase your face thingy. I use it usually because I apply my ColourPop cosmetics with just like a finger. Um, and I'll usually use it to like clean off my hand afterwards. But it's also good for when I put on too much blush. So I can just kind of get some of it off. But even if I don't end up using it as blush regularly, I love it on my lips. I put a tiny bit on my lips before. Okay, that looks better. But this, I really like on my lips. Again, put too much. Well, actually, no, it's fine. It's blending in fine. Today's kind of like gonna be a low-key work day for me. I'll be signing off around like one or two, probably one, but then I'm gonna like still work from my car and get some stuff done because we've got like a three hour drive so i'll definitely be able to do some stuff New Hampshire. It was a lovely trip. I have to do a couple work things today. I need to start packing for Florida. I just made myself lunch. It's pesto, avocado, tomato, mozzarella, and balsamic. It's so good. No, I feel like I may, I should end this off. This is a very long vlog. I should definitely end this off. I definitely want to vlog more this summer. I just, yeah, <laughs> fingers crossed. I can keep up with it with all the other stuff going on, but Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you to everyone that's just been super kind and supportive over the last five months of having this new job now. So yeah, I will talk to you very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye friends.